welcome to Rideau Acres Campground in Kingston, Ontario. Rideau Acres is located approximately 15 minutes northeast of downtown Kingston, which makes it a convenient location for visitors from the Toronto, Ottawa, Montreal, and even upstate New York areas. There are 475 campsites total, including seasonal sites and sites open to weekenders and short-stay visitors. This park even hosts events and has lots of amenities to enjoy during your stay. We are spending two nights here at Rideau Acres in Kingston, Ontario. This is a privately owned campground and we're here with a whole bunch of family, so it's going to be an epic weekend. Come along with us and we'll show you what it's like here at the campground and some things that you can do in the surrounding areas. The drive to the campground was about two hours for us and was very easy to get to from Highway 401. When we arrived, I got out to go check in at the office where I was given a token that opened the gate so we could have in-out access to the park. Then we headed to our site to get all set up. We are doing something new again this weekend. We are actually at a private campground here in Kingston, Ontario, and we are in section K, site 15, and it has full hookups. Pretty cool for us. We've never camped in a spot like this before. Our site is kind of open, but I'll give you a quick tour now so that you can see what it's like. We had sites K16 and K15, and they were quite open, but convenient because they were pull through spots with full hookups. There were no fire pits, just spots on the ground where it looked like other people had their campfires. We kept our evening low key with dinner and sitting around the fire. It's about 7.45 and Alan is still sleeping, but I have my coffee and I'm on my way to start a tour of Rideau Acres so I can show you around this beautiful campground. One thing I have noticed is that not all campsites are very private. Actually, the majority of them that we have seen that are open to weekenders or, you know, just renting a week here and there are very open. Some of them even feel like they're in a field. Luckily for us, our site is right on the end, so we don't have anyone on the other side of us. But the traffic is really frequent in our area because we are on the main road. So that's something to note. I do appreciate the convenience of having full hookups though. Here you can see some of the seasonal campers with decks, sheds, and full setups at their trailer sites. Not all sites have electrical hookups. So if you're looking to do some just camping with no amenities on your site, it can be done here. If you like hiking and biking, then Rideau Acres might be the place for you because they have 136 acres that you can explore, including a beautiful waterfront trail and even a mountain lookout. There was also a nine-hole disc golf course on site, and the park offered other activities like bingo, a playground, and basketball court. I just visited the pool and spoke to the lifeguard and found out that not only is our lifeguard usually on duty, there is also an adults only swim time between 2 to 3 p.m. each day. And I was there at 8.20 this morning, so the pool must have opened at 8 o'clock and nobody was there. So it's a perfect time to go swimming if you want some peace and quiet and want to swim in the pool, not the lake. If you're looking for event space, they also have this large building here where they do host events. So something to consider if you're in the Kingston area and want to host some sort of event. And it has a really pretty view of the green space and the duck pond. Something else I really like about this park is that they have all of their streets named, so it's really easy to navigate throughout the park. I kind of think the Ontario Provincial Park should do something similar. Okay, so I'm heading down Duck Pond Lane and it seems that the ducks have made this their home. I'm gonna try and go around them without getting attacked. Please don't attack me, I'm a nice person. Okay, 
Okay, I made it. Well, now that I've survived that uh, duck crossing, I'm on my way to what I believe is the entrance to the Mountain Lookout Trail. I don't think I'm gonna do it right now because nobody knows where I am. I didn't tell anyone where I was going. Uh, and Alan is still asleep, so if something were to happen, the cell signal here is very bad. We have our cell booster uh, going and it's not even helping that much, but it's much better than nothing. But the cell signal here is not super great. So something to know if you're coming. I do believe I made it to the scenic lookout trail. So it looks like you go right at the T3 sign because if you go left, this looks like it's a campsite. I'm not wearing my proper hiking shoes, I'm carrying a coffee. I should not be hiking right now. Uh, definitely not prepared for hiking. So I'm just gonna go up to the top and see if there's a nice scenic viewpoint right here or if it's gonna be like a super long hike. I'll turn around. It's definitely not accessible. So that's something good to know. Yeah, this is gonna go much further. All right, I'm gonna turn around. Come back when I'm a little bit more prepared. I'm on my way back to our trailer for the third time to see if Alan is awake yet. And if he's not, I'm just gonna wake him up because it's a beautiful day and there's so much to see here, to do here and we only have one full day and we have to leave tomorrow. One thing I don't really like about this park is that checkout is at 11. In Ontario Provincial Parks, checkout is at two. I understand why, so they can like make sure the sites are all clean and nice for the next camper, um, but it just kind of feels like a waste of the day. You have to just get up and go. So. That's something else to note if you're coming here is that check-in is at 2 p.m. but check-out is at 11. We decided to take a quick trip into nearby Kingston and 10 minutes away from the park was our first stop, Fine Balance Brewing Company. This craft brewery offers seasonal beers on tap or by the can and you could sit inside or outside. They didn't offer flights but you could pay by the sample to create your own. We really enjoyed it. Then on our way back, we made one more stop. Just a few minutes down the road from the Rideau Acres campground are the Kingston Mills Locks. And these are part of the Rideau Canal and are a National Historic Site of Canada. So come along, let's get a closer look. So a fun fact for you, the Kingston Mills is the first station on the southern end of the Rideau Waterway and its defense was a major concern for British authorities who feared an American attack. The blockhouse by the road was designed to protect these four locks against any invader who penetrated past the guns of Fort Henry, which guarded the entrance to the waterway at Kingston Harbor. And if you want to see more about Fort Henry, you can check out one of my Kingston, Ontario videos where we actually visited Fort Henry and spent the day exploring the old fort and seeing what it was like back in the day when Fort Henry was an operating fort. allowed to walk across the lock to take pictures and videos and just see what they look like which I thought is actually pretty cool because the guardrails are kind of low so it is a little bit sketchy and definitely would not let children go here unattended. We were waiting to see the boats rise up and come this way through the locks but I just heard one of the park staff say that it would take about an hour and a half. So we think we saw what we needed to see and it looks like a really cool experience, but we don't have an hour and a half to spend here because we want to get back to our campground and explore the amenities that it has to offer. And I definitely want to get back on the hike that I started this morning. So hopefully we have time to do that this afternoon.
We made it to the top of the scenic lookout and it is definitely not the easiest trail to do. My sister did do the trail with her daughter in a stroller. Wasn't very easy and it wasn't an off-roading stroller, but it still made it. But if you do have mobility issues, it is a little bit of a challenge to get up to the top, but the scenery is pretty worth it. We are one hike down and one to go. We are heading now to the waterfront trail. I'm not sure how much of a hike this is actually going to be. When I was there this morning, it was pretty flat, but we're gonna go give it a try and show you what it's like. There's so much wildlife. I've seen a turtle, lots of different birds, and a little baby bunny. We are at the end of the waterfront trail. It took us about half an hour, and I must say it is much easier than the scenic lookout trail. Everything is pretty flat. It's not too difficult at all to do. And there are much more scenic viewpoints that you can see of the water. So if you're only gonna do one trail, I would actually recommend doing the waterfront trail because it is more picturesque. At the park store and office, you could rent various pedal carts. And I think it was $15 for 30 minutes. They offered firewood, ice, and a variety of grocery, outdoors, and pharmacy items in case you forgot anything and needed to grab something quick. And they even had ice cream and a little fast food area as well. Nearby was the garbage, recycling, and dump station, which was conveniently located on the way out of the park. And perhaps the best part was the beach area. We visited the beach at sunset and it looked like a beautiful spot for swimming. The water was very calm and there was a nice sandy beach bottom. You could also do some fishing here off the rocks or the docks. And there was a large dock area if you had a boat you wanted to launch. It's time for my overall thoughts of our experience here at Rito Acres Campground. I really like how many activities and amenities are offered at this campground. So if you're looking to park and camp and not leave the campground, you have an excellent array of things that you can do and see right here. And also, if you wanna get out of the campground and see the surrounding areas, Kingston is not far away and you can explore the surrounding areas and all Kingston has to offer because it is so close. And if you're looking to use this as your base while you're exploring Kingston, Ontario, I have a great list of things that you can do and see around Kingston and even some sightseeing videos that I'll link to in the description below and above so that you can check those out. The campgrounds here are kind of open, there's not a lot of privacy, but there are some sites around the perimeter that do have a little bit more privacy that you can book, but I suspect you have to book those well in advance. Overall, I would say we enjoyed our time here. It's a lovely park, it's very well kept, and we really like that it has full hookups, sewer, water, and electric. It's so convenient to have all of those. That's something I wish the provincial parks had. So I guess it depends on what you prefer, but it is a beautiful campground overall. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more travel and camping videos coming soon.